First, remove the lid of the sterilization container by pulling the latches away from the container and lifting upward. To load the filter paper, first remove the retention plate from the perforated section. To secure the filter paper, place the retention plate over the filter paper and press down until locked into place. When using filter paper with the indicator ink, be sure indicator dot faces toward the inside of the container when the lid is in place and the indicator dot is visible through the retention plate on the inside of the lid. Using the illustrations in the bottom of the insert tray to guide you, load the devices into the insert. Attachments, such as chucks, should be in the open position. The sternum sabo case can hold a sternum saw and a sabo sagittal saw, as well as two sternum guards. The three handpiece sterilization case can hold up to six attachments, including two chuck keys, two collets, and three handpieces. The four handpiece sterilization case can hold up to eight attachments, including two chuck keys, two collets, and four hand pieces. Place the insert tray loaded with the dry medical devices into the prepared container bottom. Place assembled lid onto the container bottom, aligning handles on bottom with latches on lid. Simultaneously, close both locking latches onto the container lid. Select the appropriate indicator card and insert into the holding bracket on the outside of the container. A tab at one end of the indicator card will facilitate insertion and removal. Insert the appropriate tamper-proof seal into the locking channel on each end. Secure and lock the seals. Run the desired sterilization cycle according to the instructions for use. Sterilization containers should be placed flat for effective sterilization and drying and should be positioned on the autoclave cart below wrapped items for optimum sterilization and drying conditions. Stacking is recommended for high vacuum cycles only and should not exceed 16 to 18 inches in height for effective air removal and adequate steam penetration.